Okay, hi there. Welcome to the sixth in our series of short lessons looking at economic aspects of the coronavirus pandemic and the global economic crisis. I thought we'd look a little bit more positively today at uh, a big issue, and that is the extent to which uh, the crisis will accelerate the process of innovation across different countries and across many different markets and industries. I want to introduce you in particular to a concept known as creative destruction. So this is the sixth series. Uh, in the previous session, we looked at a question of inequality. Uh, we were worried and concerned that the pandemic is likely and may already act, actually be widening the income and wealth gap. Let's look a little bit more positively at the concept of innovation. So what do you think innovation is? Lots of people have uh, different ideas on this one. Uh, my best definition is that innovation is about putting a new idea or a new approach into action. And uh, innovation is commonly described by many people as the commercially successful exploitation of ideas. Now, there's two main types of innovation, although they sometimes overlap. Uh, there is, first of all, process innovation, and that is the implementation of a new or significantly improved production or delivery method for goods and services. In other words, the process of getting goods and services to market to consumers may well have improved. And we think about advances in production technologies, particularly when we think about process innovation. Secondly, there is product innovation. And I suppose this is the type of innovation which we, we tend to feel and see most often. It's the creation and subsequent introduction of, of a good or service that's either new or more likely an improved version of previous goods and services. There is, if you like, an iterative process. Uh, so, for example, the next version of an app or an improved smartphone or an improved uh, TV screen. That will be uh, an example of product innovation. Well, I want to introduce you in this first session to a very famous economist who was called Joseph Schumpeter. Now, Schumpeter was one of the most influential economists of the 20th century. Some people think he is the most influential economist of the second half of the 20th century. Perhaps, perhaps Keynes deserves the first half. And Schumpeter popularised the concept known as creative destruction. So, what is creative destruction? Well, uh, Schumpeter argued that creative destruction was the essential fact about capitalism. A capitalist machine constantly creates new products, new markets, new methods of transportation and organisation that sweeps away the old. So new can often sweep, sweep away established business models, business products. In that sense, there's a destruction about innovation allied to a creativity. Now, Schumpeter was a remarkable man. Here he is pictured at Harvard. And uh, according to a, a superb article on Schumpeter by Peter Drucker, uh, Schumpeter, from his student days onwards, held that a modern economy is always, always in what's called dynamic disequilibrium. Uh, in other words, constant change, constant flux. Schumpeter's economy is not like a closed system, uh, like Newton's universe. It's forever growing, forever changing. It's biological rather than mechanistic in nature. Schumpeter's creative destruction is a really, really important idea. And oftentimes we try and find examples of where we think new businesses, new business models, new products, new processes are challenging the existing order of things. That is the essence of creative destruction.